Welcome everyone, special welcome to my subscribers. Thanks for coming back and to you new viewers, become subscribers so you can see great videos like this one. Today, I've got a nice big chuck roast. Uh, it's about 2.1 pound uh, chuck. And in this, I'm going to be taking and adding straight in one cup of flour. You can probably use a little less, but I want to make sure that my flour gets thoroughly coated. This is um, steak seasoning or beef steakening, uh, seasoning. It's specifically for roasts and steaks. That's one teaspoon. Two teaspoons of kosher salt and black pepper. And two teaspoons, two teaspoons of cumin. The reason I put it in the bag is because I don't feel like rubbing this all on the meat, so I'm gonna just use the old shake and bake technique uh, to get this thoroughly coated with our seasoning and flour. And that's the whole point of this, is to just get some nice flavor of that season, which you see in there, onto that. Um, give me a minute to make sure that I get this thoroughly rubbed, and then we'll step over to the stove. I have gone ahead and given the meat a pretty good dredging. You can kind of see that it's pretty well sealed in there. Now that we know that we've got a piping hot pan, I'm gonna do two minutes per side. And I'm doing this for two reasons. For those of you that believe that the meat will seal, if I put a nice sear on it, that's one. But more importantly, I'm making a season right now. I'm searing and sealing in the meat. I'm gonna get that flavor when I throw it into the slow cooker. So a minute or two aside, it's gonna smoke like crazy. Uh, and then we will take it over and put it in the slow cooker. I've gone ahead and transferred the meat over to the slow cooker, lowered the heat down to about a four, which is between a, a low and a medium, and I'm using extra virgin olive oil. You can see that the, it's still quite hot. I've got one medium onion that I chopped, the rough chop, so it doesn't have to be perfect. And then I have two tablespoons of minced garlic. All I'm going to do is give this a quick saute. This is going to add some flavor and to get all that browning. You can optionally forget the flour and just use uh, the seasonings that you want. I'm taking this inspiration from Alton Brown um, and all he uses is cumin and salt. So you can see that the um, onion and garlic has gotten a nice brown on it. This is one cup of uh, tomato juice. And a quick stir. One cup of uh, Merlot wine, whatever favorite you have. I want to let this cook for about three minutes, and then I'm going to literally take this and pour it right on top of our uh, ground chuck, or ground chuck, our chuck roast, uh, and this will serve to keep it moist, and we'll cook it on low. All right, you can see that my sauce has thickened a little bit from the heat. Uh, what I did is I just brought it to a boil, uh, and then I keep stirring it so that uh, nothing sticks to the bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and put this right into the pot roast. So to that, um, because I like to do all in one, set that there. This is one eight ounce package of baby carrots, just uh, chopped up. And the only reason I really chopped them up so small is because again, I have two little guys and I don't want them choking. In addition to that, I've got about uh, eight red skin potatoes, just a rough cut. I'm going to add a cup of beef stock to this, let it cook on low uh, for four hours. We'll be back then. See you then. All right, it's been about uh, five hours, give or take. Uh, you can, like I said, let this go. As long as it's on low, you can probably actually let it go six or seven hours if you need to. Let's take a look. Oh, two things. I hit it with a dash of Worcestershire sauce, and I also pre-cooked those potatoes that you saw me put in. Uh, I just boiled them in a little bit of beef broth and water. So you can see that the potatoes are nice and tender, but more importantly, there's our roast. So we've let the meat rest for a bit. I'm just going to cut into it and you can see that it's ridiculously tender. Um, I mean, it's one slice and it's 
there. Now that we've got the meat plated, we'll just take some of these delicious red skins and carrots with a nice little slice of Irish butter. And there you go. It's an easy slow cooker roast beef uh, with potatoes and carrots on the side. You know the drill. Give this a try. Let me know what you uh, do with it. If you make any alterations. Shout out to Alton Brown for the inspiration with the tomato juice and so forth. Otherwise, subscribe, share, like, comments below. Take care. Tune in for the next one.